So now we're going to change the needle. Uh, the needle with the materials that we're using, uh, it does get worn. And so you'll notice that the thread keeps breaking consistently or it's just not moving as smoothly as it once was. That's when it's time to change the needle. So <clears throat> uh, all we're going to do to change the needle, we're going to bring the needle mechanism down just a little bit. And you'll see that there's a set screw for the needle right here. All we're going to do is un tension that screw and the needle should feed right down and out. Pretty simple. Now we're gonna go to a new needle. So we've got packs of needles in the drawer. Uh, these are all uh, a 110 slash 18 size needle. Pretty simple to operate. Just open the pack, choose a new needle, put the pack away back in the drawer. So there's Two, or really one significant feature of this needle is if you look at the pointy end, there's a flat section right at the eyelet where the thread comes through. This has to be on the inside of the machine every time. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take that needle, we're gonna put it up and into the needle slot where that screw just fell out. If you don't undo the screw too much, it won't come out. That's okay. I'm gonna slide that needle up. And you're just gonna make sure that needle's aligned so the eyelet is facing side to side and that depressed section in the needle is on the inside of the machine. And then you're just gonna tighten up that screw. Nice and snug all the way hand tight with this screwdriver. And then re-thread the needle. So thread comes from the outside to the inside of the machine. And then again, through the presser foot. And that's how you change the needle.